I am Jessica, a part of 2019's SBE. Throughout the month, I have been better able to understand my strengths and weaknesses. For example, I learned that I am better at continuing conversation than initiating it. Because I am honest and analytical, at times I can come off as insensitive and I can also be judgmental. Sometimes I unreasonably blame myself and I can also be stubborn, but I am responsible and logical. I learned a lot about leaders, how they don't neglect others, are in touch with people, and conquer their fears. The Skittles were headed out to Lawton Park for their activity. Once they got there, all the kids started to run around. Some of the counselors sat and talked to one another, while others were having fun with the kids. They were playing tag, and the kids were dragging counselors to jail, as well as climbing on the play structure. There was a little boy sitting by themselves, fidgeting with their fingers, and watching all the other kids have fun. OIMT saw this and decided to encourage the boy to have fun with their classmates. He pushed her away, but the YMT was persistent and wanted the boy to interact with others. He was hesitant, but eventually he decided to go talk to his classmates and make new friends. Leah has been my mentor for the past six weeks at day camp. She helped show me how to be in touch with people. Being new to SDC, I learned a lot from observing other counselors. Even though I've been in Leah's group for a short amount of time, she has given me plenty of advice from the sidelines. And having a mentor has allowed me to be able to talk about day camp with someone outside of SBE. I admire how balanced she is. Leah can be strict, but she is also gentle with the kids. She knows when to be more disciplinary, but also interacts well with people. The SBE who have worked with her have told me how in touch she is, and even from afar, I can see this. I've noticed how comforting she is, and how she understands when to step up or down. Leah is really observant, and I applaud that. I'm amazed by how she understands and sees these little details. The group that challenged me the most were the Starbursts. Going into Starburst, I knew that I would struggle because I don't have the traits that work with them. They aren't as social as the younger kids, so it's harder to get them to open up. Getting to know them was difficult because during their first week, it didn't matter what group you were in, everyone was just awkward around each other. And it didn't help that I knew none of them prior to SDC. They were close to my age too, so I felt like one of them and not an SBE. It was hard to integrate myself into their groups. With the younger kids, they are more social, but the Starbursts have formed their friend groups and getting to know them at their age is hard. I was uneasy going into Starburst at first, and I remember on the first day, I didn't talk to many of the kids, which made me dread the second day. But we ended up going to Strawberry Hill with some of the Starbursts, and I got to know them a lot better. I grew more comfortable and learned to look past my fears. Through the humble servitude of Jesus, I have discovered a new perspective on leadership. His humility and treatment of people is something that I admire. He doesn't praise the perfect people, but acknowledges the mistakes that we make. As a leader, Jesus does not prioritize materialistic things and is selfless. Luke chapter 12 verse 23 says, For the life is more than food and the body more than clothing. We are so attached to our belongings that we often neglect to understand that life is more than that. 